Is this the Rubicon? Yep. We're here, folks. We are standing on the Rubicon Trail. Woo! We made it all the way up here. I can see why people like off road in here. Look at the view. Oh, man. Good. Got a couple more behind us. That looks fun. I want to get on that and start and go bouncing around on the rocks. Oh, that's a fun little trek of road. That's ex. Yeah, you got to bring the pressure down a little. Really? Yeah. Look how smooth the bark is. The tree roots yeah. from thousands. Years yeah. Of Erosion or it just sands it down or smooths out the wood because and the bark because you have a lot of uh, jeeps. A lot of jeeps that will pass over the tree roots which seem to cross the trail. All right, the Rubicon Trail in the Desolation Wilderness. When we stand on the peak, guys, when we stand on the peak, guys, we'll be able to see all the entire Desolation Wilderness from up there. On both sides, the mountains are on, they're on both sides of Desolation. That looks fun too. That's a nice Jeep. That's like the tires on that are made for that. That's nice. Oh crap. There's a lot of Jeeps coming. <laughs> I'm getting jealous seeing all these Jeeps come through. I'm like, I want I want to ride them. I want some uh, lifted suspension system with the big tires and the Jeep. Uh -huh. I'm sure Tammy would ride with me if we had the Jeep to do this with. Yeah, only if I get to drive it halfway. <laughs> you gotta make it fair. You gotta make it fair. Came close to a life and death situations with Tammy. Almost died one time. See, when I had to come pick you up at Tahoe, uh -huh. I literally had to drive up onto the side of my, I mean, the car was only on two wheels. Right. That's the good, that's what makes it fun. <laughs> it's not fun unless you almost die, right? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta come close at least to some. Phone, so I didn't have to worry about it. Yeah. You guys it all the way through. A little bit. Maybe a few miles. It's pretty back country here. It is. <laughs> little gate back in there, guys. You see that? There's a little road and a gate. No regrets here. Passing the route. Look, says the Rubicon Trail. And this is the river. Look how overgrown it is. Do you even see the river? <laughs> oh, there it is. That's pristine. There's our turn off to the right. At least I know where we're at now. Yeah, I got a good idea. 
There's a split off there, but it's gated. <laughs> 18 more miles to go. Nah, it's getting too hot for that. <laughs> I'm gonna the creeks right here. I'll dip. I'm gonna take a dip in it. I'm just gonna sit down, take my stuff out, and just sit. I don't care. That lake. I was about to go swimming in the lake. I'm not lying. That lake water felt good to me. Maybe it's just because I'm so hot in the sun. I'm just. You know, when you're hot, you just don't care if the water's cold. Yeah, like I don't care. I just want to cool off. Dive in. So anxious to dive in and cool your body down. <sighs> pretty country and these people are living the dream so are we we're just doing it on foot but we're still having really good views up here you know what I mean it's really nice To Devil's Peak. Can't even see the peak. It's up to our left. We're almost going to be under it soon. But like I said, to take the ridge, you follow the tree line up, and take it won't be. It only be about a 50, 40, 50 degree ascension. That yeah. uh, 40 is pretty good. This is 40 almost. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is will be like how the peak is. It'll gradually climb to the top, and I think we can manage that. I mean, come on, we just conquered Shirley Canyon. That's two to three miles of straight 60 degree incline. The grade's not 60 degrees here, it's 40. That's pretty good. Even the peak isn't that steep. I can do the peak. Well, we can do it. We're experienced hikers. Bigfoot awaits. He awaits. Or he waits for no one, right? <laughs> Wow, look at that massive tree. We are, folks, we are below the summit right now of Devil's Peak. Sure looks a lot different. You see it across the lake, and it looks like a bunch of cliffs and woods. But when you come up here, you can see there's actually brush broken. Or... But you can see, if you look, the terrain's much different. You'll have, I could see it flattens out, and there's woods, and there's some more hills. It's a pretty intricate peak. When you sit there across the lake and you look, this looks like this massive cliff or massive dome with the cliff, but it's not. There's actually layers built into the mountain. You have your trees, your undergrowth, a couple piles of rocks and flat areas, and you continue to go past that and you get underneath the crown of the summit. Now, it was called Devil's Peak because it's a volcanic dome. We'll also be seeing Mount Diablo, which tomorrow from the vista point when we stop i will photograph mount diablo for everyone to see oh yeah i love this place i mean there are some amazing views there are this forest is pure it smells good up here it's just this is a nice place to hike and explore loving it the rubicon river yeah i'm here baby i am here if we get on devil's peak you can see both sides of the desolation wilderness. How does it not get more exciting? One side teeters Lake Tahoe, one side teeters the El Dorado National Forest. Good stuff. Stuff that people dream of. It's a hiker's dream. Pretty cool. Looks like fun. <laughs> I'm so jealous. My Jeep could make this, but there's parts of the trail it may not be able to make. And I would not want to get stuck in 100 degree heat on the Rubicon, that's for sure. Of course, most people will tell you out because it's just the hiker's policy. The off-roader's policy states you always winch and you help other stranded people. I've had to pull people out off-road into New Jersey one time. I wasn't going to let that guy sit there in the cold and freeze. I towed him out hooked it up and pulled them and that's what I can do here if if I was off-roading I'm sure someone would do it for me too 
However, pretty soon our turnoff to the peak's coming up. And then we just follow the ridge up. Good views of Loon Lake. Might even see Christina's camp spot from up above. Could zoom in on them. Zoom in on their vehicle from up above. <laughs> I don't know. No, we got a little ways. We're at 1.1 miles. 1.1 miles to the peak. Pretty cool, huh? That's not bad. When you think about it, it's not as bad as it looks. It looks from far away like there's cliffs. It's not. It's layers of rock and layers of trees and layers of brush that make it look like it's, you can't hike it. But you can physically hike this. And it's nothing. It's not even as bad as Shirley Canyon. Shirley Canyon has about a 60, 70 degree ascension some, at some parts. And it goes, it ascends for four miles to high camp the entire way almost. Here you have a flat area. And then you go up a little ways and it gets flat and you go up a little ways. So in between, in the flat areas, physically you could take breaks. See there's the ridge up here. But I don't care, I'm not going to rush. I want to get some family pictures up there so we can blow one up and put it in our living room. And it is what it is. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, this is, this is the Sierras, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a wilderness that's untouched by man in some regions. Yeah, it's steep. Yeah, the forests are thick and harsh. The plant life can be harsh here too, or stab the death out of you. But this is, this is Bigfoot country. Even if I don't see Sasquatch or find a track, I'm hiking in one of the top Bigfoot regions in the United States, in North America. It doesn't get any better than this. Now on with the journey. On with the journey. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to do this. Always keep a positive attitude and you'll complete every single hike you do. As long as you're positive, as long as you got, as long as you just continue to keep on the, on the good, you know, optimistic side. The sky's the limit. You can see things other people will never get to see. Guaranteed. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Devil's Peak. Woo! Look at the cliffs in that. We go 0.3 miles to... We go 0.3 miles to the south. And then we go about 0.4 to 5 miles to the left. Now, since we cannot go straight up to Diablo Peak taking the cliffs, what we'll do is there's a little hill past that point, and we'll go up the ridge and just follow the ridge of the peak. I'm telling you, the views from that peak are amazing. Even though it's not the tallest peak, you get views of the Desolation Wilderness on both sides of the Crystal Basin. You also get views of about five, six lakes from up on top. How can I not want to go to the top of Devil's Peak? And it's not called Devil's Peak because there's devils or anything to do with the devil per se. It's called that. Certain names like Mount Diablo or Devil's Peak or Hellhole Reservoir are named after volcanic landmarks. And there is a lot of volcanic landmarks here because the Crystal Basin was formed by volcanic activity millions of years ago. And then glacier activity formed the basin carved out all the rocks, the canyons that you see today. So there is a lot of education to learn here by my videos. You can kind of learn about geology and Bigfoot and nature. And whether people realize it or not, people don't really correlate it, but our group really covers all the basis when it comes to Mother Nature and hiking outdoors, including safety. And there is no, I cannot give you guys safety tips or education or anything if I don't go out there and commit to doing some of the hiking and the work. What's fair is fair. And a lot of people don't understand. You, you really got to go out there and just get your hands dirty. You know, we might put a, we might lose our ass on the mountain, but I'll tell you what, I got the bragging rights. My kid can outdo most adults. I'm proud of him. Because, because he really takes a passion in the outdoors. And there's nothing greater than having a, your child want to summit a peak with you. That's a good feeling. Most kids don't want to do that. And he's okay. That's beautiful mountain. A uh, little creepy, but it's beautiful. Unleashing Devil's Peak. That's the crown right there. But if you go around on the backside, you can just walk practically right to the top. I've studied maps of it. 
on top it's just a flat area what really amazes me is that people all the time drive the Rubicon and a lot of them have no idea what the name of some of these peaks are let alone even standing on them to kind of see the view that encompasses the entire region the only way to see the entire region in full view is to summit any of these peaks I just wanted to do Devil's Peak because I thought it would put a nice spin in, in this expedition. Besides, the possibility of finding Bigfoot up there where it's more remote is increased tenfold as opposed to here in, in the basin itself. That's just the truth. I'm a realist. And as a realist, we, and an outdoorsman, I know all the great things that come with getting up to a peak like this the views the pictures the nature the flowers also seeing what else is in the area because when you stand on something like that you could see our camp spot from up there you could see things that normally you would not see in such an overgrown forest on this road the road is surrounded by high peaks and cliffs so you're not going to see much from the bottom that's how the basin is the whole basin the crystal basin is just that way this will put things into perspective it'll be something that we'll always remember no matter how much of a pain in the ass these places are to get to you never forget them once it's over and done you're like yep cinder cone was a pain in lassen and i'll tell you what after getting on top of that and seeing what I seen, the crater and everything else, I was like, wow, it truly is a, your own little slice of heaven. Like I said, Boston writes. See, it's not as high now that you look at it because we're still ascending. It's no higher than cinder cone. Just that's how cinder cone looks from the bottom. Then once you get halfway up, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. Trust me, I know outdoors more than I know my ass crack. It's true. I know it better than my ass crack. That's not that high. A few hundred feet up and you're more than halfway there. Hi, come here. Come here, boy. Or girl, are you a girl? I can't see. Come here, boy. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, come here, come here. Oh, there's your mom and daddy. What a pretty dogs. Oh, that's probably their owner right there. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> there you go. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the Rubicon Trail. This is Rubicon Country. Everybody has Jeeps and they're off-roading, but there's Devil's Peak. We may not make it to the top if we want other sites to do. That doesn't mean I'm not going to explore the, the peak area for some tracks. I may go where some of the brush is present below the peak, see if we can come up with some Bigfoot tracks and impressions. But you can see, I mean, this thing is... Its crown is massive granite rock and cliffs. It's a beautiful mountain. I'll zoom in and show you. Oh yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> 